believe that everybody in their circumstance can thrive in this industry. You can. Some circumstances are a little bit harder. We believe that everybody can not only thrive, but you absolutely have to. I've known Kathy for about four years. I've heard her speak multiple times, and she's just the guru. She's the, she's the go-to gal on all things financial. It's known forever that there's not a real solid place to go in this industry for business and financial information, right? Numbers are really scary in childcare. Um, what are they supposed to be? Not only what are they supposed to be, how do we get them there? If my staffing's supposed to be 50%, what does that mean that I do? We want you to look all the way at the end of your time in your company, and we want you to build an asset that they can retire from. Whenever you go to conferences, it's usually all about the early childhood side, and not really so much the business and accounting side of things. So we grew them from five to about 120 schools in the time that I was there, the 18 years I was there. And I started to analyze them. And these were healthy companies. And what I found out was they were almost identical in the way people spent their money. And they had figured out the metrics that made them strong. And so I built a benchmark. Today was the financials because, again, I'm in it for the love of learning of early childhood education and learning more the business side and the financials is going to make me a better business owner. We do have some larger companies here. We've got a 24-site company here. We've got an eight-site company. We've got lots of threes and fives and a lot of single center owners and brand new people in the industry. And so don't worry about where you are. You take this information and you make the changes that make sense for you. But we want to be your support team. said the landlord gave him a number he ran this calculation he told the landlord my business this is the percent of occupancy on a stabilized building that's awesome would you stand up here please and finish the rest of the presentation and this is sustainable the landlord wants to know that's a sustainable number you take the benchmark that Kathy gave us share it with my administrative team I've already called my CPA and made an appointment with her to sit down and make sure my QuickBooks matches the spreadsheet. Combination of what you charge and how full you are, how many people you're charging it to. Driving revenue. Most important thing you'll do for your financial picture. The Thrive event today has been amazing. It is ideas to stay on the cutting edge with the industry. Um, I came up with this idea of the marketing pyramid. And so like a pyramid, it has to build on itself. So if you don't have the bottom layers of the pyramid, there's no point in doing the top stuff. Our industry is forever changing. So um, hearing marketing ideas that Bit that millennial parent group that's out there today is very valuable to our industry. As you go up the pyramid, things can get more expensive. And so you never want to be spending a lot of money on the top of the pyramid if you don't have the bottom foundation in place. We put it in the newspaper. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to post it on Facebook. I'm going to do a blog post about the cute things kids say and how we develop literacy and language development by having give and take in conversation. Just, your blog is actually right. on your website. Yeah, that's a great question. Your, your blog should be hosted within your website. Within your website. Yeah. So your main job in your school is to enroll and drive revenue. You exercise or you read or you meditate, you do something for yourself because self-care is important in the rest of your day. I, I tell people, build your revenue, watch your staff, watch your food costs, and you are at least 95% of the way to financial health.